This car can race down a 20 meter track in 1.065 seconds. We are Delta X-15. That's from the school team from Jazz World Academy in Dubai. And we're going to explain what F1 in schools is all about. The first step when creating a team is to recruit members, like-minded people who want to pursue the competition just as much as you. You can have a minimum of three and a maximum of six team members at any point in time. There's a team manager, there's a graphic designer, there's a production engineer, a development engineer, a car designer, and a marketing manager. Brand identity is a way to make your team stand out from the crowd and help build a reputation with the community and the people in the competition as a whole. To make a car, you should be experienced or learn about CAD software and engineering as a whole. The manufacturing of the car will be done by the production engineer. What does the car designer do? They use Fusion 360 to the extent where they use their creativity as well as their skills and techniques in order to create the most aerodynamic and good looking car. To organize things, you really want to be a team manager. You can not only focus on project management, you can also help delegate and create an effective team. So the graphic designer plays a major role in creating our uniform. A crucial part of your journey is marketing your team in the car. Marketing gives you the opportunity to incorporate all of the various project elements and showcase it to the world. When designing your car, you need to use CAD softwares, also known as computer-aided design. Most F1 and schools team prefer using Fusion 360 to design their cars. When you're designing your cars, you're not only trying to make it as fast and aerodynamic as possible, but you also need to ensure that you're following the technical regulations of the competition. It's important to analyze the car design in the use of CFD testing, because this will allow the car to go faster on the track. The use of CFD testing allows you to visualize the movement of air around the cars, and also the parts of the cars that create the most amount of drag, which affects the speed of the car on the track. It's important to have prototypes in your design because although you can do testing virtually and CFD testing, it's also important to actually test your car in real life. Every component can affect the speed of the car. For example, the wheels can affect how much friction you have with the ground, the car body can affect how much drag is created, and the front wings can redirect the airflow around the car so that it's faster. This constant process of analysis and evaluation enables teams to produce the fastest cars and bring them successfully to the competition. So when manufacturing the car, there are a few key components that you need to focus on. One of them is using the CNC machine, which cuts the car out on a two-axle machine from a polyurethane block. Second is the priming and painting to ensure that the car has a smooth and nice finish. And then third is assembling the car, so adding the wings, the rear wings, and the wheels onto the car to ensure that it's fully assembled and meets the regulations. We start to do scrutineering to make sure our car doesn't break any critical regulations. Um, just doing routine checks like making sure all four wheels stay on the ground. Entering the tether lines as well, which is crucial to make sure the car stays on the track. You can do multiple different tests to ensure that your car is safe on the track. This is physical testing where you test the car on the track and ensure that it doesn't break at the deceleration system or along the track. Although there could be some breakages or some issues that have occurred on the car, this is a chance for each and every team to reflect and evaluate and also share improvements on the car through each prototype in order to create a very aerodynamic and amazing car. After all the routine checks have been done, we send it off to wherever we're going next for the competition. And finally, you reach the end of the F1 in Schools competition, the race day. Racing is just one part of the actual judging of the competition and rankings of the teams. It incorporates your design and engineering judging, your enterprise judging, and your scrutineering. All of these are various project elements that your team has completed throughout your journey. When racing in F1 in schools, there are two aspects that you need to focus on. The first is reaction time, and the second is track time. Reaction time is what sets you apart from the starting, and a fast reaction time can give you the edge in overall race. The second aspect is track time. Track time is what sets you apart once the cars go and reach the end. It's your job to make sure that your car goes as fast as possible to the end while in keeping with the regulations. Another area you're judged on is the verbal presentation which is a presentation you have to give to the judges, including your innovations, learning experiences, and collaboration that you've done in the F1 in Schools competition. There's also the pit display, assembling it, people coming by to look at it, see whether it matches your entire team identity. At the end of it all, the award ceremony is where you get your time to shine and you receive prizes 
for your competition. There are multiple prizes and there are lots of opportunities to win something. And at the end, the national champion will be crowned and go to the world finals. So that's everything about F1 in schools. We hope to see you on the track soon.